Well, today on Nation, a window cleaning podcast, we're talking all about accountability and why you suck. So if you have a business, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? If it's your first time here, have a look around. We are now over 300 episodes, almost six years of doing this every single week. I haven't missed a week yet, knock on wood, uh, but go back, listen, watch. You can binge away content. It's all on the business side, window cleaning, pressure washing, any type of service business. So go back, listen to anywhere podcasts are found, and of course, also on YouTube. If it's not your first time here, and it's not your first rodeo, and you've watched or listened to episodes, you've got something out of it, and more importantly, you became a cool kid. That means you have put your orders in through me, shameless plug. Well, thank you. It is because of you that I own the supercars and Lamborghinis that I do. Uh, no, but really, if you guys, I, I just do want to take a second and say thank you to everybody who's been putting orders in through me. You guys have been absolutely amazing. As season ramps up, more and more of you are letting me put your orders in. All you have to do is click save this cart on your checkout screen when you're logged in. I can see it. Shoot me a text at 862-312-2026. Just text me. Say, yo, Jersey, it's in the cart. I will be able to save the credit card for you so it's easy and instant. I can see the cart. I verify your address. I'll do all the work. You sit back and relax. It costs you nothing extra. And, of course, I get uh, credit for it. So it's like a virtual high five. It's like the most awesome Patreon you could ever do. That's what I do. What I do is to help people and help them put orders in. That is how I make my cheddar. So if you want to help me out, uh, I would be eternally grateful. So let me know again, 862-312-2026 is my cell phone. Save that, by the way. Save it as Jersey. I'm the only Jersey in your cart, uh, in your contacts. I'm the only Jersey you know, I'm pretty sure. So save that. Uh, Also, you've seen them all over, uh, the stickers. uh, You've seen American Window Cleaner Magazine. You've seen people posting about it. You've seen people getting the subscriptions just talking about it. It is the most amazing window cleaning magazine ever. It is uh, the longest running magazine uh, for window cleaning in history. It started in 1986. It's a monthly magazine with articles on business, how to better your business, awesome insight, funny stories, it includes uh, posters of window cleaning, cool pictures, and of course, a sticker sheet of window cleaning stickers every single month. So if you're serious about your business, you got to get the American Window Cleaner magazine. Go to awcmag.com, get the subscription, do it because you're better than your competition. Okay, after all that being said, today's episode, I don't wanna say is a kick in the pants, but I'm I'm gonna be bringing up something that I love to talk about, love to talk about, and it's accountability. Um, I work privately with uh, a lot of people, I've done this for years, right? And the number one thing that you can do in your business is be accountable. Here, here's the truth, right? When you have a business, we're talking about growth and everything else, there's tons of awesome things about business, right? Yes, there's stresses. I have uh, three gray hairs now. But yes, there's stresses in there. Um, there's some panic, right? When it's good, it's really good. There's freedom. There's just this sense of accomplishment, just being awesome. You've created something from nothing. But the absolute biggest downfall of having a business is accountability. It is that if you do or you don't, no one cares. No one is there holding you accountable. Now, the problem ends up being is that you end up trying to be your own accountability person, right? You go, well, I'm going to do this this week. Yeah. Wednesday comes by and you're like, well, I'm too busy now. I've missed it. Uh, next week is going to be big. It's, it's the same thing in weight loss, right? Everybody wants to start their diet on Monday. Why? It's so that they can just like eat everything they want on Saturday and Sunday and feel good about it because, yeah, Monday we're doing the diet for sure. Accountability is the biggest killer of business 
and business growth that there could be. That there could be. You can get work, right? You can find staff. All of those things are hard and take their own time. But accountability is the reason that you aren't as far as you might want to be. The big thing with accountability is this. If I go to a job, I have a nine to five, right? I work for John Jones. If I show up to work and I suck, guess what? John Jones has a talk with me. If I go and don't get stuff done that I need to get done, right? If I'm dropping the ball, if I'm forgetting things or, or not getting the stuff done I'm supposed to be getting, then John Jones is going to come to me and be like, hey, what are you doing, man? And there's always that type of brain thing that like, hey, I got to make sure to do this because otherwise John Jones is going to find out and then, oh man, he's going to talk to me. I got to get this done, right? But the downside in business is we're the top of the tier. We're the top of the, the, the column, the pedestal, the whatever. As a business owner, you are the top of your business. There is nobody holding you accountable. So it comes down to what you think you should be doing. And then we get into the whole, um, you know, uh, idea of, oh yeah, I can do this, I can do it by myself, all that stuff, right? There's a really, really big problem with accountability is that you just aren't really held accountable. And the truth of the matter, and I did an episode years back called um, uh, No One Cares About You or something along those lines, right? And the harsh truth on that one was just simply this. If you fail or succeed, no one cares that you did. Yeah, you'll disappoint some people, right? They'll just move on. The only person that you will utterly destroy inside is you. A lot of people over the winter kind of break down their companies. They look at things and they see kind of, you know, where do we go? What do we do? What was our growth? All that stuff. Tax time especially. And they look at it and they go, wow, man, last year, like, we did good. You know, but this year is going to be, oh, man, this year is going to be. They don't put that roadmap, right? It all comes down to accountability. I'm saying everybody I've worked with privately, number one thing is accountability. Now, let's get into accountability a little bit. And I'm going to tell you why it's absolutely amazing for you and why you need to do more and be held accountable. The first thing is your progress is slow. Your progress is slow because you aren't accountable. The, I've talked to people that have literally doubled their company in the span of six, six months. They've turned it around in within 12 months. They've doubled their company. That's happened multiple times. It's absolutely amazing to see. But what it is, is they're being held accountable, right? If your progress is slow, the reason it's slow is because there is no hard set. If I do this, I get this. Yeah, everybody goes, man, if I do this, I could be bigger. Yeah, yeah, but I'm busy today, right? The problem is, is progress is slowed by that. Think about this. Let's let's play devil's advocate, kind of look at it a different different line. Because you're you're sitting there going, I'm accountable, I do what I'm supposed to do. I'm yeah, yeah. Here it is. If I'm NASA or SpaceX or some company that has these strict, strict deadlines, this has to be done by this date. Okay? If it has to be done by this date and this thing has to be achieved, then we're going to fight, break down. Boom, 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 boom. This is what it is. Every week, this has to get done. At the end of the week, hey, did this get done? Yes. Boom. You can achieve what you need to achieve by holding yourself accountable to the pieces that need to get done. Right? It's like taking this, we always kind of talk about the big, big, the bite out of the apple, right? But I go, man, I want to be a million dollar company next year. Yeah. What are you going to do? How are you going to get there? Ah, I'm just going to work hard. What are you doing? Right? You can't because you don't have plans. You don't have goals. You just have this dream of being a millionaire or a million in company, but you don't have anything how to get there. And you can't hold yourself accountable to get the things done that need to get done. That's why your progress is slower than you'd like. That's why certain things in your company, oh, man, 
just isn't doing what I'm thought of with because you're not accountable, right? You're just kind of doing things in your own world and you just kind of make it up as you go. Time in business is the deciding factor on your growth time, right? Time in general dictates when you grow. Time is connected to time. Time is always moving no matter what. No matter if you're, oh my gosh, I'm really stressed. I'm, you're still a second is a second, a minute is a minute, an hour is an hour. If you're sitting on a beach, a second is a second, minutes a minute, hours an hour. Time is always marching on. You've heard that. So here's the thing. You're listening to a podcast right now. By the way, kudos for that. But you're listening and watching this podcast about window cleaning you're getting yourself amped up, you're fired up, your competition isn't doing that right this second. The last, well, when this is done, it'll be a half an hour. That half an hour time, you did something with that half an hour the other guy didn't do. Maybe the other guy's eating a sandwich. Maybe he's sleeping. Maybe he's napping. Maybe he's getting drunk in a bar. Whatever it may be. He's not listening to a podcast. He's not bettering himself like you are. That half an hour, you win. For that half an hour of life, you win. Because the half an hour for you is the same half an hour for them. A half an hour is a half an hour. And once you get past that point, you don't get it back. Time marches on. You will be done on this planet at some point. You will be five years into business at some point. You will be 12 months into business at some point. 50 years if you're still in it. 20 years, whatever that time is. It will happen regardless of what you do in that time. If you start a company right now and another guy starts a company right now, you're in the same neighborhood doing the same thing, heck, you're both equally nice. It's what you do with the time. Whoever does more wins or they at least get there faster the thing with accountability that people always always forget is that, oh yeah there's always a tomorrow there's always a tomorrow there's always a man oh man next week's gonna be kill- oh man april 1st is oh man may 1st is ah oh, the 15th of march is gonna be there's always a time until there isn't a time There was only one February 1st of 2023. What'd you do? Did you take that day and absolutely kill it? Did you do the things you needed to get done so that that week could be successful? So that right now you could be where you wanted to be? Well, if you didn't, which most of you didn't, I mean, it's very, very seldom you see people hold themselves accountable. If you didn't do that, you lost that day. If the other guy did more than you, then they're going to be farther than you. If you have a plan that ends up happening at the end of this year, you want to do this, the accountability means did you do what you had to do? Because most people put it out there and then they just like, ah, I missed that one, but next week I'm just going to do double. You know you're not. No, you're not. It's just how it is. I So uh, on a side note, you, you know I do some of you probably do, uh, that I do personal coaching, right? By the way, uh, I do have a slot open right now if anybody wants to message me, but I also do accountability. Our accountability side is absolutely simple and it is, here's the tasks that are getting done now to next week. Here's how we're gonna get them done. Why did we get them done? Why didn't we get them done? Did you do them? Super simple accountability thing. Super simple. By the way, I have uh, accountability slots open too. That's not what this is about. With that accountability, stuff gets done. It's absolutely phenomenal. The things that can happen when somebody's there going, hey, did you do those things? Remember last week on Monday, you said you were going to do this, this, and this by this week. It's now Monday. Did you do them? No. Why didn't you do them? Because here's the thing. When you break open that idea 
if you are held accountable, if you have that somebody looking over your shoulder, things get done. The most phenomenal progress I've ever seen in business has all been due to accountability. Now, with like coaching, that's always like, it's literally 30 minutes you talk about anything you want to talk about from what you want to do to your plans to your, from advertising to bidding to projects to whatever, right? That's great. But the other side of it is, is every week, you go back over what you talked about the week before. Did this happen? You said you were going to get this done. You didn't? Oh, man. Well, if there's somebody there telling you that you didn't get that done, then next week you're like, man, I got to get that done. Otherwise, Jersey's going to, right? Otherwise, they're going to know John Jones is going to. It's the same concept. And when things get done that are supposed to get done and you're held accountable, it absolutely changes your mindset. There's this thing that we all create in our heads. We don't mean to, but it's the land to make believe. You've heard that, right? Our land to make believe is this like, yeah, man, but I was so busy. I didn't get those things done. But like last week, man, there was that meeting I had and then I had that dentist appointment. It's like, if you didn't live in the land of make believe in business, A, you'd go probably crazy. There'd be a lot more stress if you didn't make it, you know, soften the edges a little bit, right? But think about this. I have an appointment with a a guy who is, you guys know, I have a place in the mountains and I ended up buying a second property there. And um, I am doing the land clearing and grading and everything. And I have to have stone brought in. If you don't know anything about like, you know, off-road stuff, there's, it's it's stone for your driveways and your pads for your building, housing and stuff like that. It's, it's, It's gravel. Well, talking to this guy, I've been trying to get gravel. I know him, and he's an old timer up in the mountains, and a great guy, but uh, very um, slow in the business side. And it's so funny, he retired years ago and still works, but you know, he retired. And I said to him that I needed stone. And uh, he goes, Yeah, man, I uh, uh, can't do it next week. I actually got a doctor's appointment, but uh, the following week. Right? That's land to make believe. The land of make-believe says that that like 30 minute hour with drive time prep and everything, hour and a half, your entire week is shot because of an hour and a half appointment. That's the land of make-believe. That's what we tell ourselves in what we do. We're so busy. We're doing all this other stuff. I I can't get to that, right? That's why we talk about um, the marketing calendar, right? That's why we talk about um, um, goals setting, right? That's why we talk about every week, what do we do, right? It's because that no matter what happens, no matter what takes priority, you still look back and go, this had to get done, here's the things. And you can hold yourself accountable. You can have a spouse hold you accountable. You can have anything holding yourself accountable. You could write down your goals and at the Monday of the next week, go, did these goals get done? Every day you check these goals, you work on those goals, you put them off. It's like a to-do list. A to-do list is there to just hold you accountable. I got these 10 things to do. Next day you wake up, you got nine of them. You didn't hold yourself accountable. Man, I didn't get those nine things done. I gotta get those nine things done. Now all of a sudden that day you do three of them, right? If you're actually getting your honey-do list or your to-do list done, you're holding yourself accountable. That's why it's there. A goal can either be achieved or is not achieved. If it's not achieved, you didn't accomplish it. Simple, right? The land of make-believe is this part that just tells everything is good, everything is great, and it keeps you in this mindset of like, yeah, but next week's gonna be, it's the back to the diet fad. It's back to the, man, I'm gonna, Monday, I'm gonna start. Monday, man, Monday, yeah. Why not start now? If you're listening to this podcast, you're like, yeah, man, like this, this is, uh, hopefully, by the way, it's putting a a fire in your brain. If it is, send me a message or something, tell me that it worked. But if it's not, and you're angry, then you may not want to face the fact that you need to be more accountable. And that's cool. Like, I'm not here. I'm just some idiot that sits in front of a camera, right? But if it is creating that fire under your skin, right? If it's it's creating that, I need to get accountable, I need to get this stuff done. I need to achieve these goals. Then you're going to start to see the world different than your land of make-believe. Yeah, you're busy. You're busy, but these things got done. 
What happens when you have these things? There's three to five things that have to get done next week. We're not talking about, mon- and we're, I'm not talking about, well, next week I got to make a million. No, I'm literally talking about taking a task. Next week, I need to have three Facebook ads uh, made up and ready to go. Cool. That's simple. That's like an hour of work, two hours of work. These are little things. But guess what? When that week comes, right, and you get the email with the form with everything you talked about and did this get done, why did this get done, why didn't this get done, now all of a sudden it is front of your brain. Did these things get done? Yes, these little changes happened. But they happened. They literally happened. Now, yes, this happened. Yes, this happened. Yes, this happened. You have progress from last week to this week. Instantly. Now, you get three to five more things. I need to get these things done because I'm going on this ultimate goal. Boom. Next time. Did these things get done? You have the list of things that have to get done now every single week. Now, imagine if you did this for 52 weeks. The people that I have, like the accountability side, 52 weeks. I got people that have been doing it for years. What can you accomplish if that every week the things you said needed to get done got done? That's accountability. The land of make-believe puts you out there and goes, yeah, yeah, it's fine, but next week, man, I'm going to do twice as much, right? It's like... uh, it's like if you're out there trying to uh, sell new route jobs, right? Ah, oh, man, I didn't, I didn't get out and sell route this week. I forgot. Uh, I was busy. I had the doctor's appointment. But uh, next week, I'm going to go out and do it twice as long. Man, I'm going to get double the route weeks and I'll catch back up. No, you're not. Even if you did, it's pretty hard to catch up versus just staying with it. That's accountability. Land of make-believe changes, right? There's a difference between the goals and dreams. That's, that is what this all comes down to. A dream is, man, I'm going to be a million-dollar company someday. I'm going to be famous on TV. I'm going to have a Lamborghini. Right? I'm going to shake Steve-O the window cleaner's hand. These are goals. I mean, these are dreams. They're not goals. A dream is something you put out there and go, this would be nice if this happened. Right? Man, it'd be nice if I got to California... Or you make a goal. I'm getting to California. Type it into a GPS. The GPS tells you how long it'll take down to the minute. I know what turn I have to make, where I have to make it, and when I have to make it. That's a goal. I'm accountable because if I get off the GPS, it says recalculating and gives you another goal. You have to do what's on there to get to California in that amount of time. If you miss any turn, you don't get there in the same amount of time. There's a difference between a goal and a dream. A goal is planned. A goal is put out there. On the accountability side, it's amazing, but what actually ends up happening is people get to their goals so much faster. Remember, progress is slow or slower than we would like only for the fact that no one's held us accountable to that point. We have to be accountable to ourselves. That's the big, big, big part. There's nobody there telling you, like, you do it or don't do it. That's why you get into those, like, slumps. That's why you have months that are down. That's why you have nothing ends up getting down because your brain is somewhere else and you're, you know, watching YouTube and you're, you're maybe, um, you know, talking or having longer lunches or whatever you're doing. You slip out because guess what? As soon as your brain subconsciously finds out that if you don't do the things you're supposed to do sometimes, you don't get in trouble. Then it doesn't happen. Laws are there because laws keep people in line. If you can't murder because it's illegal, people don't murder. If they said, oh yeah, murder's legal, cool. Well, then the next time you get in an argument, it might be a little bit easier for you to do that. If they go, hey, if you murder somebody, you will be locked away forever. That punishment is so much, it keeps you accountable. If they said, hey, if you murder somebody, you're going to get a $50 ticket. Hmm? Uh, Okay, $50, it's worth it. I hate that guy, right? By the way, new low in WCR Nation that we're talking about murder. But anyway, I digress. Right? Goals versus dreams. Goals get accomplished. Dreams just get thought of. Truth. And the big thing that I I see day in and day out, which is amazing. This is corny, and I'm going to say this. If you're still listening, bear with me. One of the best things that I do with my job is this. It's, it's, It's this doing podcasts, it's talking to people on the phone, right? It's 
um, getting to be part of people's companies as they grow, getting to be part of that excitement, getting to literally change people's companies and businesses. People know that. And this is not cocky on me, but like, it is absolutely amazing to find out when somebody sends me a message, which I get daily, of people be like, dude, I did this and this and this. It has changed my life, my business, my anything, man. It's, this is like, for now, I can't thank you enough. That never, ever, ever falls on deaf ears. That's why I get to do what I do. The coaching, accountability, the, all that stuff too, I get to be part of somebody's business. I get to have a vested interest in making that thing amazing, changing someone's life. It's so awesome, right? The big part of that is, as much as it's exciting and everything else, the compounding effects, compounding effects, is absolutely mind-blowing. You know what compounding interest is, right? So you have a balance, say you have a $10,000 loan. Well, on day one, you owe $10,000 and you're paying interest on $10,000. After you make a payment, now you have, say, $9,000. Month two, your balance is $9,000. You're paying interest on $9,000, but that interest amount is less than what it was on $10,000, right? So you actually put more towards principal. Principal pays off faster. Now the next month, you actually only owe $8,900. All right, no, 9,000, yeah, uh, $7,900. Now you're only paying interest on $7,900 instead of 10,000, way more money goes towards principal, right? So as it compounds down, you're paying on those last few payments 100%, not 100%, but darn close to just principal, getting the principal paid off because you're paying so little interest in such a small amount. That's what business is. Business is compounding because here's the thing. If you do five things this week, next week, you build on those five things. If you build on those five things two weeks from now, you not only had the five from the first week and the five from the second week, but the five that were built onto that one. If you wouldn't have done it first week, you would not possibly be where you are now. You wouldn't possibly be there. Compounding practices in business increase so much more. Somebody who does accountability for 12 months, six months, whatever it is. If those goals are achieved every single week, every single week, the next week is a clear slate. Everything's built on that. And you couldn't have done week two if you didn't do week one. Now week three exists. Well, week three, you could do so much more because you've done week one and week two. Now think of this through an entire year span. How much you can do if you did five things every week for 52 weeks. Some of the accountability stuff that I've done has been like route. Like I have, I'm getting two new route jobs and I'm not gonna not stop doing route, selling route until I get two new jobs. That's a huge goal because it could happen or it could spend a lot of time doing it. But okay, so that happened. You met your goal. Could have happened day one, cool. It could have been literally an afternoon and you did this entire task. Fine. Guess what? You have two new route jobs for as long as you keep them. We're talking ten, that little time that you did because it got done. Tens of thousands of dollars over the lifetime, potentially. Well, now your route is stronger. So now week two, that's another goal. Still a goal. Two. I'm doing two. I've got to do two. It's going to get harder. But now you do four. So your route is stronger. Your stops are more. Your trucks are out there. No, now you're getting more work because people are seeing your trucks. That's after week two. You got four new jo route jobs, tens of thousands of dollars worth of new work. Week three happens. I'm getting two more. I'm doing two again. Well, now you're still in that same area. You're compacting that. Now, by the end of the year, you have a crazy awesome route because every single week you did it and made sure it happened. You've just added potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars to the lifetime of your business because of that. That little thing that you did, because you did it every week, works on top of it, works on top of it, works on top of it. And now, because you did week one and you did week two, and then in week three, you did week one, week two, and week three, 
And then in week four, you did week one, week two, week three, week four. All that compounding uh, effects all come out to now your route is super tight. You're making way more money than you ever did. You have now a route company you couldn't possibly do if you tried to start it now. Right? The compounding effects make this whole thing make sense. Your progress is slow. You're letting time kill you. You're in that land of make-believe. You don't have goals because you have dreams. And if you put everything together, you have compounding effects. Keep yourself accountable, I'm telling you. Even if you don't have somebody else and you're doing it yourself, find a way to somehow make yourself accountable. The problem is, is if you only rely on your own accountability, your to-do list, Monday comes and you're like, ah, dang, man, that sucked. It's like a diet. All of a sudden you eat a cake one day, you're like, man, that sucks. Stupid diet. Tomorrow I'll be better. I'm, I'm not, I can't do that anymore. It, didn't, it still didn't get done. You ate the cake because it's just up to you. We're very used to disappointing ourselves. It's very easy to live in a land of make-believe. It's your choice to go beyond that, right? Okay, off my high horse today. I love accountability. It's one of my favorite topics. It's very hard to translate to people who don't go in there and you know, I don't, this really wasn't to uh, talk about my um, accountability stuff that I do with people or, or coaching or any of that stuff. It was more or less to tell people to put it out in the face of everything and say, you need accountability because you don't have enough of it now. 100%, right? So anyway, if you didn't know, I am a rep for windowcleaner.com. And of course, I want you to be my customer. I want to be your rep. I want to put all your orders in. It takes no effort to click save this cart and to text me at 862-312-2026. Yes, it's a shameless plug. And yes, I want all customers. That's literally how I make my cheddar. So please let me do that. I would absolutely uh, love that if you could. Um, also get the magazine, awcmag.com is the, um, website, get the magazine. You are better for it and you're taking this company seriously. By the way, make an accountability that you're going to get the magazine and make it happen. Uh, get it. You're going to get stickers. It's amazing. Go check it out. awcmag.com. And, um, again, if, if you need anything, uh, coaching or you want to join the accountability, let me know, just shoot me a message, text me, call me, whatever. Um, and we'll send you the info on that. Uh, like I said, I have one slot left for the coaching side, but accountability, we do tons of those. So anyway, until next week, find a way to be accountable for what you're doing because you will see epic changes, but more than that, just be epic.